Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. And last time we ended with me heading towards my date with River, who is fast asleep here, as you can see after our date. Very nice. So today, folks, today is the day. I think today is the day. So I will just show you. I've put on a new outfit. This is all Johnny's stuff and the replica jacket. And I think it looks quite good. Hell yeah. But today, today, well, today, we're going to begin the end game. Wow. Hey. Okay. Let's, um, yeah, let's go and meet Hanako and it's the beginning of the, really? We're going to stop all the way up there. It's the beginning of the end. It certainly is. Why would you stop up here, bike? That's just silly. You silly goose. Okay, here we go. Yes, it's been a long time coming, but I think it's time. I think we've we've done pretty much all we can do. I know there's still like little side gigs and stuff, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's time to start wrapping up because there are other things that I am plotting to do. So hopefully they will come to fruition and it will be interesting for you all. I think it's going to be interesting for me. <sighs> but it's time to move on. So, let's go meet Hanako and get this thing going. I'm a little sad because Cyberpunk has been really fun. Really, really fun. But we need to, um, we need to finish. And who do you think you so, let me just take one last look. Here we are, Embers. Let's go. We are ready. We are ready. All right. Oh God, really? God, I feel sick. <sighs> Don't like this at all. Oh, it'll be fine. Calm down. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. Johnny. <sighs> I know. I'll be careful, Mum. I know. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, be Delta. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem, dude. <sighs> Stay frosty. Alright. Um VIP guest. She emptied the plate. We are expecting a VIP guest today. Cancel all current reservations, adding a personal touch for each so we don't anger the regulars. Please emphasise to all staff that the future of Embers may depend upon this visit. Shit. Yeah, it's alright, Johnny. You'll be fine. Don't worry, man. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. This is nice. I kind of like this. Can I have this? Might as well have a drink while we're here. Ooh, Excellent. this food. You have food. Sushi? Come. Yeah, sorry. Um, Distraction Avenue. Alright, here I am. Um... <sighs> Yeah, let's get to it then. I mean, we can be respectful. Should we just say thanks? Yeah, thanks for thanks seeing for me. Thanks for meeting me. Yeah, be respectful. Of course, V. Oh, and I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. All right. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father, no? I knew from the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. It's a fabulous dress. She does look great. Okay, um... So you didn't do anything about it, why? You knew? Johnny. But didn't do a thing about it? Why? Yeah. Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Um, his family? Ties that bind. Yeah. Look at the weather. 
Yes. Jeez. Family. Oh, good. I was right. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Mm. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. Mm. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. You didn't say what changed your mind, yeah? Mm -hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Oh. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. Uh. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. Damn. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. I see. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Uh, Something got you spooked? Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Mm. Three times now, that AB has flown by. I see. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Hmm... Well, Zen? No, of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up? Yep. Understandable, but unnecessary. I'll be the judge of that. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Oh, Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. Oh. We are. Oh, Johnny, leave. Jesus. Right now. Just. <sighs> Wanna what? leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. Yes, shush. We might get inf information here. This important. is gonna be a disaster. Oh, shh. Sit, up, Johnny. We have little time. Um. And you'll help me in exchange for what? And you'll help me in exchange for my brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Hmm. Um. You want to avenge your father? Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. Hmm. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? <laughs> Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Yeah. Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Look, uh... It sounds risky, man. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka top brass? Exactly, the security Call me everywhere. crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? Yeah. You will see. Um. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. The we will see. Nah. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. Mm. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. Oh, but God. what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. 
Let's fly the fuck out of here. All right, Johnny, calm down, the... man. Do you feel all right? I'm fine, don't worry. Huh? You are bleeding. Oh. Crumbs. Fuck. It Damn. seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Ah, I'll think it over. I'm going. Johnny, we gotta get out, man. You could use some air. Right now. I know, move. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh god, bless it. Go V, go, 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 go. Gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Right, okay, okay. Where's the, where's the, yep, okay. Oh. I warned you. What, what are you doing? Oh. Be hours from it now, V. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? You want to be in the driver's seat? Of course seat. I can see. Want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endotrizine. Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Uh huh. Oh, exactly. Without that porcelain cunt's help, oh. that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. Because it went so it's well last time. Chance. It went so well last time, didn't it? Yeah, what about Pan Am? She wanted to help too. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on our Asaka is just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. Exactly. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hmm. Yeah, this is my call, not yours. I gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I'm making it. Not this time. <laughs> Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you checking out again? God bless it. Oh, are we here? Are we there? Are we... Okay. What am I... No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Oh. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Man alive. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. Okay. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. Yeah. Head feels like it's gonna explode, dude. My head. Uh, Almost done stabilizing the biochip. No, feels like someone's using your head as a knife block. Yep. How'd I get here? Yeah. How'd I get here? Johnny probably dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table, and demanded you be treated immediately. Dominant was your guardian angel. Oh, shut up, Johnny. Uh -huh. I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Uh, so how bad is it? So, <clears throat> how bad we talking? Yeah. That bad, huh? The look says it all. All right. That should be a little better. Okay. Try sitting up carefully. No promises. Here goes. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. 
Okay. So slowly. <sighs> Another victory for the history books. Oh, there you are, are you? Uh, well, I'm sitting. Well, looks like I can sit up, all right. Yeah. But I can tell you don't have good news. No. Go on, say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Yeah. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. Oh, Misty, hey, there she is. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Uh. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll try. I know, Vic. I'll try. He's just scared Soon. for us, I guess. No, you'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Mm hmm. Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo endo in there. A gift from Misty. Okay. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. No. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you. And you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. No, you're Endo not. Endotrizine. Rogue Sokka Tower. No. Only way this is gonna work. Shut up. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle. Fine. Fine. Just not, Just in, not this in this basement. V. Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Yeah, I... I'd... Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. All right, Johnny. God, honestly. All right, uh, gun and pills. Let's take them. Take the gun, take the pills. I mean, I don't really need the gun. I've got a gun. I've got lots of guns, but, well... That's fine. Thank you, uh, Vic. That's fine. I get it, man. He's just scared for us. I get that. And Misty is too. They're, they're, they're good good friends. Um, thanks for everything, yeah. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Yeah. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you got to do, V. Thanks, Vic. Yeah, well... And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. See you in a bit, Mom. Misty? Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Yeah. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. No. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Let's go. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Okay. Jackie? What, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they just care, man. That's all it is. He's not really annoyed with his Vic. He's just sad, I think. And I get that. Your friend's in pain and dying. A horrible death, probably. Can't imagine. So... Oh! Top floor. Okay. He had the same glum face. Oh, Jack. <laughs> this is it, Chica. I'm done for. <laughs> Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. No. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Oh, God, well... Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder. Your gang Chumba's on the other. Yeah. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. 
Yeah. After. I brought him here. And maybe that's what we should do. Bet on ourselves. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Air. Ooh. See that? Is that something we can... Oh, we've already scanned it. Okay, sorry. Yep, yeah, I'm coming. Just um, don't mind. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. This is nice. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. <sighs> okay. Can we sit? Um. Yeah. Be alone with my thoughts. You're on unachievable these days. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, what did he decide here? So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave you alone now. Oh. Okay. Well... Take your time. Thanks. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. What, are you gonna no, miss me? I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect. Mm. No, but whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Yeah. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. <sighs> Let's call River. Well, there is this. One stubborn badge. Mm-hmm. Secure your soul. God, what a thing. What a thing to say. All right. Hey, v. Hello. Hey. I wake you. Uh, wasn't asleep. Shipping containers again? Uh, worse. What could be worse than that? Uh, pursuing somebody else's botched case. The feeling you are that fuck up. Uh, don't know. Hard to explain. Question is, what are you doing up? Uh. Might have had a bad dream too. Like yours. Might have had a bad dream too. Kind of like yours. How so? Also lived a double life. Mm. As an overweight detective, his moral backbone made of hot dog buns. <laughs> oh, try dead rocker boy with a bloated ego. Yeah. Ooh, sounds nasty. Yep. Trade places with me. Listen, seeing as you're not asleep either, what do you say to little nightcap? Uh... Yeah, not feeling great, dude. Uh, now's not a great time. Not feeling well. Not at my best. Everything all right? Yeah, just got something on my mind. You know, might not have been the best cop in Night City, but I can tell when someone's... Talking out their ass? <laughs> not speaking the whole truth. Find yourself in some trouble. Fierce variety. Might have been the trouble that found me. Mm. Well, that might just be what I like most about you. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. Yeah. Wait, wait. Whatever it is, you can count on me, okay? I know. Thanks, River. Hang in there. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? We have, it's true. Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. True. Honestly, I, I want to go with Pan Am. I want to finish this. I don't want to rely on Johnny to do it. Yeah. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. Yeah. 
You absolutely sure? Yep. No going back on this, you know. Yeah. Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. I just wanna be there for it. Aware. Yeah. Do you get it? He gets it. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? <sighs> okay. Just me now. Yep. All right. P? Yep. Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? Oh, sorry. I know. But need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent? I couldn't wait until morning. Need a way into our socket tower now. Sorry, what? That woke her up. Whole thing with Johnny. I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Yep. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to. Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> yep. Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Yep. Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? I'll try. Give it a shot. Sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Cool. All right. Hey. Here we go. It's very quiet without Johnny. As irritating as he is sometimes. Uh, all right. So there you go. We're going to solve this. We're going to fix it. Ourselves. In our own awareness. And not have Johnny do it all. I know it's how I'd want to go out. If this was the case for me, I'd want to be the, the one to see it out to the end. Whatever the end would be. Death or life. Whichever. I'd want to see it through to the very bitter end. Open up. In the name of the law. Misty! Is uh -huh. that you, V? Yes, it is. Or... Just me. Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Mm-hmm. Come inside. We'll wait together. All right. Let's rock and roll, Booker. Where's the cat? <gasps> kitty. Pet a kitty. What do we have here, huh? Ah, oh, a little kitty That's cat. That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. Ah. Oh. I think he misses Jackie. Little kitty cat. Ain't alone. No. He'd have been a great companion right now, Jackie. I don't know. Would have been nice to have a conversation with him about all this garbage that's going on. He'd have known what to do. Probably. All right. Are you gonna tell me? Something? Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? No, go ahead. Sure. Sure. Why not? Let's see what's Some gonna happen. Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Okay. Others claim it's change that is evil, but that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Oh. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. Okay. What's up? The fool. Well, what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. 
The fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the mm -hmm. announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. Mm-hmm. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Also sounds like Johnny. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. Yep. <laughs> it's one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Sounds like Panam's here. Well. Hmm. I think that's for you. Okay. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. All right. Well. Hey, Hi. Panam. You okay? Man, it's good to see your face. It is, actually. Jesus, you really do look terrible. Well, thanks. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. All right. Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Cool. Well, Misty. Look out for yourself, V. Yeah, you too. You thanks. too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Yeah. I like Misty's tarot cards. They're really cool. I think you can buy them. Like, people have made them. Jeez. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Uh, yeah, what happened? What happened? You passed out on the way. Oh. We tried shaking you awake to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. All Where'd right. she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. Okay. I mean, you could have took me out the car. It's probably roasting out here. So, v, Good grief. I heard talk that there's a war coming. Uh, yeah. Great, I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Look, well, the, the whole clan right knows here. we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested veterans <laughs> oh, are a fistful at most. <laughs> The rest mostly raid rinky-dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. The plan is solid, Saul. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. Oh, dear. We're sending this clan oh. to its grave. They're arguing again. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V. Finally. How's your health? Eh... Uh, I'm fine, let's go over the plan. You yeah. did some sleep, is all. Yeah. I heard you were already cooking up a plan. Mm. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Okay. Have a look for yourself. All right. A few strategies we sussed out, Ooh. but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. All right. We'll dig a tunnel. A tunnel. Uh, and we know this will work? Sure, these plans are up to date, completely reliable. Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not oh. one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want to dig under Arasaka Tower? So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Um, hmm. Cirque, what's that? What's a cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. Oh. It's 
automated tunnel boring. Ah. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Cool. Uh, how do you expect to handle Militech at the construction site? Yes. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked. Militech out in full force. It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. Okay. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can still change your mind, you know. If you don't want to help. If it's too much, if it's too risky. The plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you. All of you. To danger. Yeah. One out. Wanna cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. Okay. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. All right. Just no making decisions without me. All right, Panam. Is there anything else you need? Are you and Panam agreeing all right? Hey, you and Panam, something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Oh, God. Um, Panam thinks so, too? Pan Am thinks so, too. You'd have to ask her yourself. Oh. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Oh. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. Uh, I need to get in touch with Alt. I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Mm -hmm. Who might that be? <sighs> Let's be honest. Alt and AI, I need to help. Alt. She... It's an AI from out past the black Are you fully present up there? Yep. Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck maybe. No, thank you. Not while there's still dogs in the street. <laughs> you know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thank you very Thanks, much. Saul. Yeah. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. <sighs> well. There you go, man. Jeez. All right, so we've got to talk to Mitch. Mitch! Dude! You over here? Oh. 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 What's this? Oh, it's just showing us the panzer again. Um. Fellas. Yeah. Hello. We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory... We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. Jeez Louise. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Okay, uh, afterburner, what are we talking? Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. Mm-hmm. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. <laughs> when we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Uh, what's the fire? Firepower yeah, fire up top. Power, yeah. uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. Oh. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. I won't. Uh, we could take it for a spin. Since tomorrow's a big day already. How about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's cool. putting it mildly. 
Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. <laughs> All right, dude. Okay, so I need to go and speak to Dakota. Talk later then, I guess. Yeah, see you later, Mitch. Well, folks, bloody hell. This is it. This is it. We are primed and ready to, um, yeah, go and finish this. My God. It's going to be weird, isn't it? Finishing up and, you know, end game in it. But I think it's for the best, is it not? Where's the bar? I could do with a drink. Is there a, a bar here? Hello? I don't know. Well, what's up here? Oh. Ah. All right. Well, I think we will leave it here for today, folks. Next time, we go and speak to Dakota and, um, well, begin oh. the end. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. Thank you.